APIs are driving everything in 2022. My name is Brenton House and I'm a senior API strategist for Software AG. Stay tuned as I reveal the top 10 API integration trends for this coming year. So let's jump into it. What are the top 10 API integration trends for 2022? At number 10, we have growth of the API economy. The API economy is taking the world by storm. Now, when I'm referring to the API economy, I'm not just referencing your ability to monetize your APIs and data. No, it's much more than this. It's about revolutionizing how enterprises are organizing their teams, resources, and budgets. It's about the entire supply chain being powered by APIs. It's about providing a way to request an Uber ride and track it from beginning to end. It's about streaming movies and television shows to devices around the world. It's about ordering dinner for your family and having it delivered to your home. APIs are a gateway to your products and what enable your business to engage with consumers in the digital world. In order to compete in this very fast moving API market, companies are now adopting API first strategies and allocating budget and resources to allow them to succeed and win in 2022. At number nine, we have modernization, specifically how APIs are powering the modernization of businesses across all verticals. Mainframe and legacy systems can be a big dependency and liability for many organizations. We are seeing an increase in the number of companies that are leveraging APIs and API platforms to replace and extend the capabilities of their legacy systems. Coming in at number eight, we have API and integration experience. Everybody wants the experience with their API products to be magical. From APIs, API documentation, API developer portals, and API artifacts, a lot can be said about the user and developer experience across the entire API landscape. The reason API experience is on the top 10 list is that along with the huge growth of APIs in the past few years, there has been a corresponding growth in the expectations that users and developers have when they go to consume or integrate with an API product. API products and portfolios need to include things like being intuitive, including well-documented APIs, having a great onboarding experience, great logging and analytics, and including code samples and Postman scripts. A great developer and user experience for your APIs and integrations can give you and your business an edge up over your competition and make a world of difference as to whether your digital and non-digital products are successful in this competitive market. At number seven, we have open standards for APIs and integrations. In the past few years, we've seen everything opening up and an increased adoption of open standards. With the advancement of tools, technology, code, and no-code solutions, it's actually not that difficult to build an API these days. However, building an API that is extensible, scalable, and actually uses best practices and properly implements open standards can be much more difficult. RESTful APIs and open standards such as SOAP, Swagger, OpenAPI, JSON Schema, Async API, and GraphQL have been around for a while, but we're seeing a substantial growth in the community around the development of these standards and the participation from businesses and individuals in keeping the standards up to date with new features and improved documentation. My recommendation would be to get involved with these groups that you can support the standard and participate in the process of growing the API community. If you are consuming and using these standards, and I'm sure you are, keep up to date with the changes to ensure that you are producing and integrating with APIs in the best possible and securest way. Take a look in the show notes and description below for some of the open standard communities that have been growing in the past year. Closely related to open API standards, we have API best practices coming in at number six. While there have always been best practices of some sort around the use of APIs, integrations, and microservices, 
it's been kind of hit and miss as far as what you would find and where you could find it. Often best practices might have conflicting messages or might be vague, leading to branches of differing micro best practices. Although RESTful APIs are solidifying their position as the current standard for APIs, we are also seeing an increase in the use of GraphQL, gRPC, and others. This has driven an increased need for formalized best practices, not only covering what technology and standards to use, but also how to do it in the best possible way so as to reduce the amount of future rework involved. Best practices cover many API topics, including but not limited to API security, API integration, versioning, monetization, and more. See the show notes and description below for more examples of API and integration best practice topics. At number five, we are seeing an increase in the push for industry vertical specific ecosystems around APIs and integrations. Take open banking as an easy example of this. If you're in the financial industry, especially if you're in a geographical region that has government regulations around this, you have been aware of the changes both in the standards and government regulations that have shaped how financial and banking APIs integrate with one another. The healthcare industry is also seeing similar growth with the development and implementation of FHIR and other healthcare standards. Expect to see a continuation of growth in some of these existing verticals as well as spikes and new growth in other industries. Keep a watchful eye on government, manufacturing, transportation, logistics, retail, and insurance. At number four, we have API automation. I am a huge fan of automation and I'm excited to see an increase in API automation adoption. This goes beyond some of the automation we've seen in previous years where we've had automated API integration tests, automated code unit tests, automated publishing, automated security checks. GitHub has recently announced a new development tool called GitHub Copilot. Now, GitHub Copilot is an artificial intelligence tool developed by GitHub and OpenAI to assist users by auto-completing and writing code. Now, there's been a lot of feedback on this, both good and bad, but the point is that things are changing. The goal of automation is not to replace workers, but to allow people to focus on more important tasks. Keep an eye out for an increased automation in API design, API integrations, API creation, API management and governance, and advancements in automation for API security. At number three, we have adaptive API management. Managing the entire API lifecycle can be challenging. Every organization is different and often the needs and requirements can be quite complex. Enterprises need to adapt quickly to changes in the market, changes in government regulations, changes in technology, and even changes in how and where people work. New APIs are created every day and people need API management that can adapt as well. Whether you're adapting to new API policy requirements, new API security threats, new API integration requirements, or new API consumer or partner opportunities. The need for an adaptive API management system is growing every day. Because of issues like this, 2022 will see a continued growth in adaptive API management systems like web methods, which provide robust and holistic approach to API management. Some organizations need on-prem solutions, others want to use cloud-based SaaS solutions. But a growing number will need something in between with a mix of both. This hybrid API management is a key component of the adaptive API management system. At number two, we have seamless integrations. An API without integrations is kind of like a car without fuel or power. It may look pretty, but it's not very functional. Not only do APIs need to accept integrations and integrate with other APIs, but there can also be complex requirements for chaining, transforming, and sanitizing the incoming and outgoing data across these integrations. APIs need to be able to easily integrate with anything, anywhere. 2022 will see a need for seamless API integrations that grow and scale even further with solid and proven integration tools standing out from the crowd because of their smooth and seamless handling of integration processes, both on-prem and in the cloud. 
Because of this increased demand for secure integrations with other APIs and systems, organizations want and need products that can remove the friction from their integration experience. At number one, we have API security and cybersecurity. As long as there have been APIs, there have been hackers who have been searching for vulnerabilities in those APIs. API security and cybersecurity is of critical importance for every organization, especially now. Nobody wants to be in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. Earlier, Gartner had predicted that by 2022, API abuses would move from infrequent to the most frequent attack vector. The growth in not only the number of APIs, but the exponential increase in API usage has made this prediction all the more impactful on businesses around the world. According to a more recent Gartner CIO and Technical Executive Survey, cyber and information security are at the top of the list for planned investments in 2022. This is not surprising as business leaders are feeling the pressure to put budget and resources behind cybersecurity to protect their APIs, data, customers, and reputation of their companies. Now, closely related to API cybersecurity is the topic of encryption and privacy. Organizations are increasing their understanding and proper implementation of encryption to protect their data. Everything from storage and transmission of data requires a critical security eye when planning and implementing DevOps security. Privacy is also directly related to API cybersecurity as an essential key to securing the privacy of users and employees. Not only does data need to be secured, but sometimes the best decision is not to store the data at all. Now, there are a lot of government regulations surrounding privacy in certain parts of the world, but security and privacy requirements can also drive a strategy that reduces unnecessary data storage to protect both consumers and enterprises alike. With the rising importance of API cybersecurity, it's critical for everyone to understand what API cybersecurity is what is at risk, and how to protect and defend your APIs and other systems from attacks. Take a look in the show notes and description below for a list of videos in our API cybersecurity series where you can learn more about API security. As a bonus item, keep a close watch on composable API solutions. While composable architecture has been around for a while, the term is getting some extra attention lately, and you may start to see more enterprises that may forego building part or all of an API and may instead compose new APIs together from existing APIs, both internal and external. These new APIs will integrate with other APIs to add features and capabilities instead of internally building new APIs from the ground up. So there you have the top 10 API integration trends for 2022. Use these as a guide to see how digital transformation is driving your organization forward and what you need to do to ensure that you are not left behind. I'm Brenton House and thanks for watching. Check out the show notes below for links and bonus content on how you can securely manage your API portfolio. Subscribe to this channel and stay up to date with the ever-changing world of APIs and digital transformation.